And next, first we're going to start checking for joint effusion in the carpus. And usually I'll gently bend the carpus a little bit and check between the radius and the radiocarpal bone. See if there's any swellings in there. Then we'll put it through a range of motion. And in dogs, they can go, they can flex about 45 degrees and usually their paw should be able to touch their forearm pretty comfortably. And then extension. And in dogs, they can only extend to 180 degrees. Check for uh, any type of ventral uh, disruptions of the carpus. Try to hyperextend it. And check the collateral ligaments, both medial and lateral. Next, we'll move our way up to the radius.